Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book, out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 31. Day 3031. 3 is to signify that it's the third edition. Third edition, day 31. We are on page number 241. We're going to solve some simple, very simple linear equations. And by the way, these problems that we are about to solve are all of the problems that appeared already in the first and the second edition of the book. If you're interested in watching the original solutions that appeared in the first edition, you will find the original solutions from day number 98 through 99 or perhaps through 100. Do you understand? Uh, if you're interested in watching the solution uh, at a slower pace in a little bit more detail, here in the third edition they're going to go a little bit faster. So if you have trouble following, if you wonder why we did something the way we did it, watch the original solutions and you'll get probably more out of it. Here we go. We are on page number 240. I don't know why it says 241. We are on page number 240. Page 240, 2.3.1, a simple equation that is given to us, 11x minus 4 minus 8x, we are told is equal to 2 times x plus 4 minus 2x. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. The very first thing we need to do here is to open this parenthesis. So let's do that. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 4 is 8, then we have a 2x, oh, there we go, we have a positive 2x and a negative 2x, we can kill that, we need to bring the 4 to the other side, so, so let's add 4 to both sides, the 4 is going to drop out, 11x minus 8x is 3x, and here we have 12, oh, there we go, 12, x equals to 4, very simple, very straightforward, nothing to it, if you want to verify your, if you want to verify your work, 11 times 4, we are claiming x is 4, 11 times 4 is 44, minus 4, minus 8 times 4 is 32, and whatever this quantity is, it better equal to 2 times x plus 4, x is 4 here, 4 plus 4 is 8, minus, minus 2 times 4. Let's hope that they agree. 44 minus 4 is 40, 40 minus 32 is 8, and 2 times 8 is 16, 16 minus 8 is 8 also, it, it checks out. Let's do the next one, 3.2.3.2, which is a system of equations, simultaneous equation. there are only two of them, so that can't be that bad, and in 2.3.2, they want us to use what is known as substitution method. And here are the equations. We are told that 4x plus 3y is equal to 13. This is our first equation. And then we are told that x plus 2y is equal to 2. And again, they want us to use a method known as substitution method where we find the value of one variable in terms of the other and substitute it back in the other equations. So let me find a value of one variable from this equation and substitute in, in this equation, second equation, or the other way around makes no difference. If you look at the two equations, of course, this will be much easier to work with, so that's what we're going to do. Let's substitute x. x equals 2 minus 2y. This first equation implies that x must equal to y, 2 minus 2y. Let's put it in here, see what happens. 4 times 2, time, 2 minus 2y plus 3y equals 13. Open the parenthesis. We're going to get 8, 4 times, again 8y plus 3y equals 13, minus 8y and positive, to, uh, three, a positive 3y is going to give us negative 5y, and we, when we bring 8 to the other side, when we subtract 8 from both sides, we're going to get a 5 here, there we go, divide both sides by negative 5 and y equals negative 1, there we go, simple enough, nothing to it. Let's substitute this value in here, and we can get the value of x. 
x would equal to 2 times 2 minus rather 2 minus 2 times y and y is negative 1 based on our work negative and negative will become positive and it turns out that x is equal to 4 at this time it may not it might not be a bad idea actually to verify your work let's verify our work we're going to verify up here so what we're claiming is that what we're claiming is that the y is negative 1 and x is 4 we're going to put those values in here make, make sure they make sense x is 4 so 4 times 4 plus 3 times negative 1 better equal 13 4 times 4 is 16 minus 3 is indeed 13 it checks out it checks out let's do let's do the elimination method now let's do what is known as elimination method in elimination method we work through the two equations together and we el eliminate one of the two variables here let's do that shall we we are done with all of this thing we are done with all of this thing so here are the two equations that are given to us we have two choices either we can try to eliminate y or we can try to eliminate x if we try to eliminate y in this situation you have to look at the situation and then decide where you're going to end up doing less work wherever uh, whichever approach gives you the less work obviously that's what we're going to do if we try to eliminate y here in order for us to be able to eliminate y the coefficient of y is in the two equations have to be the same in other words we're going to have to multiply first equation by 2 to make the 3 into a 6 and multiply second equation by by 3 to make that 6 we're going to end up doing a lot of work let's just eliminate x we're going to eliminate x by multiplying this equation by 4 we're going to take our second equation and multiply this entire equation by 4 voila and we're going to put that in here so 4 times x is 4x 4 times 2y is 8y and 2 times 4 is 8 now we're going to subtract one equation from the other this has a positive sign which since we are subtracting the second equation from the first equation we have to change the sign positive becomes negative positive becomes negative this positive is going to become negative 4 minus 4x is going to go away which was the whole point and we have 3y minus 8y is going to give us minus 5y and minus 5y has to be same as 13 minus 8 which is 5 divide both sides by negative 5 and we end up with y equals to negative 1 and the rest of the story is same as before we take that value of y we put, we put it in one of these two equations we would have put it in the second equation x plus 2y is 2 this is where we put it and we find the value of x x equals 2 times there we go 2 times negative 1 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 we bring the 2 there and x equals 4 same as before and then we verify the work as we did before nothing to it I could very, we could very easily go to the next uh, page and and start doing and so this is the elimination method because we just eliminated one variable we could very well go to the next page and uh, start solving the problems there page number 242 but I don't think it's a good idea because it's a different topic it's a quadratic equation it's a different topic let's keep this let's keep the quadratic equation separate from separate from these linear equations because in the, when we're dealing with quadratic equations uh, we might go into a little bit more detail and we might start drawing the parabolas that, that is associated with the given equation talk about its vortex, talk about its line of symmetry, talk about its x-intercept, y-intercept I don't want to do all of that, mix it up all with the linear equations so even though it's a very short video I'll see you tomorrow, okay? we're going to pick up from the, we're going to pick up from page number 242, okay? bye now